Courtesy of viewer Mark Bagwell, the Mula R89 three-piece safety razor. A mild and efficient shave. Perfect for new wet shavers, and seasoned wet shavers will appreciate it as well. We're going to have a shave with it, and that's coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and watchers everywhere. It's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Great to see you again. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. Really do appreciate it. Love getting together with you and talking all things traditional wet shave. We have a brand new safety razor in the shave den, courtesy of your Mark Bagwell. Mark, thank you very, very much. Hey, before we get to that, if this is your first visit to the channel, welcome. Make yourself at home and check out all the other videos. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, here it is. From Mark Bagwell. Thank you again, Mark. Very, very kind and generous of you to send this along and allow me to share with all the viewers out there. The Mula R89 three-piece safety razor. This is a wonderfully mild yet efficient shave. The aggression is such that it's perfect for a new wet shaver and seasoned wet shavers will appreciate it as well. Now, this is a daily razor. Uh, with one day's worth of beard growth, uh, I will do three passes with this razor and get a really, really nice shave. This time around, I'm going to give it a little bit more of a test drive. I have two days worth of beard growth, so you know I'm going to be doing three passes, but I think this razor will definitely, definitely handle it. You're going to be very, very hard pressed to uh, nick or cut yourself with this. It's just, it is that mild and it has, it just delivers a nice, smooth, shape, which is why we uh, say that it's a really good razor for those who want to start the traditional wet shave with a safety razor. This is really, really a very, very good pick. It has beautiful black and chrome accents. This handle has a specific kind of knurling. Even though it's kind of close to the handle, it's not a raised knurling, it is very, very grippy without being sticky. Uh, and again, very, very robustly chrome, three-piece uh, safety razor uh, with just really, really nice, well-chromed accents. Just absolutely terrific. So we're going to have a shave with this. Uh, the razor also comes in a really, really nice display box. Uh, right here, it's got a sleeve, like, like a sleeve drawer kind of thing. All right. And uh, inside, they also give you one razor blade uh, in an envelope right here. And we're going to use this razor blade for the shave. Here it is right here. This is a Mula razor blade. So we're going to use this for the shave. And also inside, you can see they're right in the back, they have some information, an information card you have to remove. This, uh, this, that tray there to pull this out. There it is right there. It sits in the back there. And I'll put that back in in a little while. Uh, and then you get all kinds of uh, information here regarding uh, the razor, care and use, that sort of thing. So illustrations there as to how to use it, that sort of thing. Right here, how to shave with it right here. Uh, we, we will refold it. <laughs> we'll refold it back together again and uh, we'll set all this aside here. Hang on one minute. Okay, all right, so that's set, uh, that's set aside. Now, uh, we're going to have a shave. We're going to kick it off with the Cube 2.0 pre-shave. We're going to get a nice hot towel. Thanks again to Jimmy Horn. I'm going to use my uh, Sterling Soap Company shave brush. That's a really, really good one. I'm going to soak it. Well, here, show it to you right here as well. Right there. I'm going to use the Starry Night Lathering Bowl. I have some hot water in there right now. And we're going to use Seville Shave Soap. This came courtesy of viewer Mike H. He sent both the uh, shave soap and the aftershave. Love this scent and love the soap base and the performance of it. And Mark Bagwell also very kindly sent along the aftershave balm. Very, very moisturizing. Really, really terrific. And I love this scent. It's a really, really terrific, refined, gentlemanly kind of scent. Perfect for an evening out. What else uh, we got going on? I think it's got, I think it's I think that's got all the bases covered. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our pre-shave. 
uh, all our pre-shave routine. We're going to build a lather and everything. And we're going we're gonna to get right to the shave. So I'll see you on the other side. So hang in there with me. about there this really this really really whipped up fast I mean look at look at that boom leather check that out wow wow this brush from Sterling did a great job as did the Starry Night Lathering Bowl thanks again to Beth Jones what a great lather and of course you saw that I already had already had my pre-shave all set and I didn't have to add any water to that but to my pre-shave lather because uh, this really whipped up wonderfully well. What a fantastic soap base. My gosh. This Barrister and Man Shave Soaps are wonderful. My goodness. Look at that. Look at that. And this scent is fantastic. Seville. It's just absolutely fantastic. All right. Again, two days worth of beard growth. Here's my razor. I put it back together again while I was uh, doing all my pre-shave prep because I didn't want those pieces to get scattered across the counter or to accidentally get hit and fall off or get separated or anything like this. Here's my blade right here. This is the Mula razor blade. Okay. And uh, then I take this apart here. Come on. Where are you, Mr. Rapper? <laughs> there it is. There it is right there. Okay. There it is. Okay. Mula. See that right there? Okay, there it is. There's the blade right there. Mueller razor blade. Okay, and here is the uh, cap right here. We're going to set that in there like that. Here is the uh, base plate. Okay, splash a little water on the counter. So the cap and the base plate have a little bit of water on them. That's okay. Here's the handle. And uh, here we go. going to snug that up. No O-ring with this. It, it fits so nicely together with the out, with, without the O-ring and uh, the chrome is so, it's so robustly chromed. I don't think I can, I don't think the handle will do any damage to the base plate to be perfectly honest with you. Now, I did use it with an O-ring. I prefer not to use an O-ring with this particular razor. All right, so there it is. Balance and alignment spot on. I mean, I, <laughs> I've i had about three or four shaves with this, four shaves with this. I think that's what it was, four shapes, and they've just been absolutely wonderful. Very, very smooth and comfortable. So here we go. We're going to heat this up under some hot, hot, hot water. Probably going to need three passes because it's two days worth of beer growth. Probably three passes, maybe a little touch up because the razor has a nice mild quality to it. But it has some nice efficiency. All right, here we go. 30 degrees, a light touch. Let the razor do all the work, gentlemen. Well, I tell you what, this blade is better than some of the others I've used. Wow! Wow, that's nice. That is really nice and smooth. That it seems this blade seems to have increased the efficiency. Of this razor uh, based on some of the other blades I've used those were good too but boy this one is exceptionally good perhaps the folks at Mula know how to tune this blade to this razor
Boy, that's, that's terrific. My gosh, no tugging, no pulling. Two days worth of beard growth and that uh, this first pass is, feels like I'm really taking the beard down uh, a good a good amount. I mean, you want to take it down in stages, but boy, this is really surprisingly good. Now, Mark Bagwell's review of the R89 on a recent Monday morning mailbag stated that he likes the formula of mild razor sharp blade. And this follows that formula very, very well. Just put a sharp blade in there and you're going to get a nice shave. Now, the Barrister and Man has a lot of, the Barrister and Man Seville Shave Soap has a lot of nice residual slickness that, will, <clears throat> that allows me to do some buffing. And uh, this razor is great for that, too, because it's not overly aggressive. It just has a really nice, smooth, mild quality to it. Now, I'm going to rinse. Let's see where we're at. Let's see. Uh, let's see where we're at. Okay, first pass done. Let's see where we're at. You know, this is really surprising. I am uh, right on par with a lot of other uh, razors that I've used that are of this caliber and quality with two days worth of beard growth. Uh, I am right on the cusp of being socially acceptable. And I dare say that with this Mula blade, uh, I might be done after two passes. <laughs> you know, of course, then again, it could be just that I'm feeling a great deal of contrast between having two days worth of beard growth, and then when you remove it, you, you have this really, really great clean shaved feel. But uh, with one day's worth of beard growth, uh, you know, maybe not so much. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. And look at this lather from Seville. Bear Stern Man Seville. And again, I love this scent. Oh, Love, love, love this scent. Okay. There we go. All right, we're going to go with uh, pass number two. We're going to go east to west across the grain. Now, if I didn't mention it before, the end tabs of the razor blade... Uh, you can feel them just barely, but there's really no overhang. They're not protruding to the point where they're going to get a, get in the way. So for all practical purposes, I would call it enclosed in the razor head. So you, you do feel the ends of the end tabs a little bit. But not to the point where it's going to get in the way. It's going to clip underneath your nostril or on an earlobe, something like that. Now, the other thing at play here is that I've used this razor so many times, I think my technique has adjusted to the shaving angle and uh, the actual performance of it. So coming from some other razors with the Mule R89, it might take you a shave or two to kind of hit your stride with it. But it's, it's mild enough to where you're going to be able to use it every single day. And again, great residual slickness and the, uh, the mild quality yet the nice efficiency of it allows me to do that buffing there. Now, I forgot to mention, after the first pass uh, with the grain on the upper lip, I was able to get maybe, um, I would say, uh, 65 to 70 percent 
of uh, the hairs up there. Uh, but uh, the across the grain pass is really cleaning up everything. And again, I'm able to do that buffing and do that little bit of detail work up there because uh, this razor is so very mild and agreeable. It really is a very, very smooth performer. Second pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> Three pass shave. I would say this shave is done. I would say I am in darn fine shave territory. Uh, after two passes. Now, I can do some, uh, this might require a little, a, a third pass and some along my jawline, but if I had to run out the door, I would have a terrific, terrific shave right now. But we are going to do a third pass, even though technically my shave is done. This is a three pass razor for me, and, uh, it's no different with, uh, with the, uh, two days worth of beard growth. Although, again, I think in working with the razor over the last four or five days, because I have had about four shades with it, uh, I think my technique has uh, adjusted to the shading angle and the uh, mild quality of this razor. And I think that has a lot to do with the quality of shave I'm getting. Plus, I think this Mula razor blade is an outstanding razor blade. I'm going to get some more. I am going to buy some more. Okay. All right. I accidentally dipped my brush in the water, but that's okay. I'm able to generate a little more lather here. This shave soap is fantastic. I mean, just to kind of work that water back into it. If I need a fourth pass, uh, you know what? I've got plenty of lather here. I don't know. Force a half if I, uh, in doing that. Okay. Let me just get a little maybe right there. Like that. All right. Okay. Plenty of wonderful protection there. Okay, we're going to go with pass number three. We're going to go south to north against the grain. Love doing this third pass against the grain. Boy, this is this razor. <laughs> this razor is wonderful. And again, you're going to be hard pressed to nick yourself. As a matter of fact, I could do some. Against the grain buffing with this razor on my upper lip where, ah, uh, with some other aggressive razors? Nah, not so much. I want to make sure I, I got those little extraneous hairs that may have grown a little longer, you know, over the lip. Yeah. Little, little buffing there. A little bit here. Nice residual slickness allows me to do that, but the razor is nice and mild where, you know, you can do that. Really, really terrific. Very, very comfortable. No tugging, no pulling. All right. 
Uh, third pass done. Let's rinse. Boy, that's a nice third pass. That is really, really terrific. Wow. <laughs> I think this is going to be a BBS finish. No, no kidding. That's wonderful. That is terrific. You know, again, you can do a little bit of buffing there. Now, if you don't feel you have enough lather on there, just grab your shaving brush and just put a little more lather on there. The uh, Barrister and Man had enough residual slickness to where I could do that. And the mild quality of this razor allows you to do that as well. Perfect for beginners because you want to take your beard down in stages. And this gives you that kind of uh, blueprint, uh, that kind of training to do that, to understand the, uh, the three pass shave when you're starting out with a traditional one shave. All right. We're going to do my uh, two final rinses, one warm, one cold. I'm going to get a hot towel here to start off my, uh, warm water rinse. Then I'm going to do my cold water rinse and I'll see you, on, I'll see you on the other side for the, uh, for the Allen block. Boy, that was absolutely marvelous. The cold water rinse was terrific. Clean, fresh towel waiting for me right here. What a great shave. My gosh. That's wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. This is BBS. This is a BBS. <laughs> this is a BBS finish. No kidding. Man, that is marvelous. Absolutely wonderful. My gosh. That's a great shave. Well, let's see what the Allen Block has to say. Uh, this is the solid Allen Block from Phoenix Shaving with the no slip grip and the dry dock system. We're going to run this under some cold water and then run the Allen Block across the face and see how, how much feedback we get. All right. All right, here we go. Boy, that's nice and smooth. That is really, really nice. And I have to tell you, in those areas where I did a little bit of buffing, I am getting a few zings, a handful of zings. That tells me that <laughs> this razor did a really nice job with that Mula blade. My gosh, that is fantastic, but Nice bracing. You know, like I say, a handful of zings, which tells me I got a nice close shave. Even with this razor, this was, this was remarkable because the first time I used it, I don't think I got many zings. But then again, I've been doing a little more, again, refining my technique, doing a little bit of buffing here and there, making sure that I have proper protection on the skin before I do that. Again, there's Barrister and Man had a lot of nice residual slickness and the razor has a really nice mild quality to it, yet a nice efficiency that allows you to, to do that uh, if you want to do that. And I also did against the grain buffing a little bit on the upper lip and there was no zinging or stinging there. That's really nice too. All right, here's the dry dock. There's the Allen block right there. Let the air in the room do the rest of the job. Boy, that was great. Here. Let me show you the, uh, let me show you the, the, the lather here. Look at that, huh? I, even with a little bit of extra water from the brush that I accidentally dipped into, look at that little kind of a Dairy Queen curl there. Look at that. Fantastic, fantastic, fantastic soap base and lather from Barrister and Man, Seville. Check it out. It is an absolutely awesome, awesome scent. So we're going to go ahead and finish off with the splash here. Uh, maybe I shouldn't shake it up, but uh, force a habit. Okay, there it is. Uh, Seville Aftershave Splash. And we are going to be generous with this. Boy, this is nice. And again, I'm going to let that alcohol kind of evaporate a little bit. Jimmy V method, wait for, wait for the good stuff. All right, here we go. Oh, that's ideal. Nice. Very, <laughs> very nice. Absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave. And here is the uh, aftershave bulb for upstairs. I'm going to need a head shave. And you know what? This razor uh, is going to get the call because it is a nice mild quality, something I like in a razor for head shaves. 
Wow, I, it's, it's very, very good. I'm going to use about that much. Might be a little too much. We'll see. Okay, we'll see. I'll work it in. I'll carry it down to uh, just to my face here a little bit. Okay, we'll carry it down like this. We'll spread it around. It's okay. It's absorbing nicely, but man, oh man, what a great scent! I have to remember the amount of balm to use from artisan to artisan. Some you need a little more, some you need a little less. I forgot what the uh, the amount was, but nicely absorbed. Let's move and again, a great scent. Great, great shave. What a fantastic razor. This is definitely a wonderful, wonderful razor. A mild yet nicely efficient razor. Perfect for a beginner wet shaver. And as I mentioned on the Monday Morning Mailbag, a reviewer on Amazon says that this is the razor he leaves in his dop kit uh, for travel, especially when he's traveling for business. He will use this razor before having an important business meeting because he is a 100% assured, now that, those are my words now, but that's the feeling I get. Let me put it this way. He's very much assured that he won't nick or cut himself with this razor, and he will look presentable and cleanly shaved. And the last thing you want is to have a terrible nick or cut before you go into a business meeting. That's why he uses the Mula R89, and I can understand why. Look, no nicks, no cuts, no irritation. An absolutely fantastic, fantastic shave. And the Mulo razor blade was wonderful. Yes, I had the Cube 2.0 pre-shave. I had Barrister and Man Seville shave soap. I had a really nice shaving brush. A great uh, shaving bowl and the Starry Night uh, shaving bowl from, uh, well, Beth Jones sent that in. Thank you again, Beth. And a nice hot towel. That helps soften the whisker. Thanks again, Jamie Horn. Uh, all these pre-shave ingredients came into play in in getting my skin ready for a really nice shave but this razor really responded to all of that and just gave me a nice nice shave close and comfortable very very smooth and i'm feeling it right now and yeah this is a bbs finish no doubt about it it's a three pass razor and you're gonna have to give yourself a few shaves to adjust to the way this shaves, to hit the correct angle, the correct approach, that sort of thing. Get a good sharp blade, use that Mula blade that comes with the razor, and uh, you too may consider buying some more because that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna get some more of these Mula blades. They're wonderful, especially in this razor. So my thanks to Mark Bagwell for very kindly and generously sending the Mula R89 along to the channel and allowing me to share with all the viewers out there. Mark, thank you very, very much. All right, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so it'll give you a yell about next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out all the wonderful artisan soap makers and sellers that you see displayed on the bottom of the screen right now. They make and offer some wonderful artisan shave soap. They also offer some wonderful wet shaving gear to enhance your traditional wet shave. The next time you're online, please take a moment, pay them a visit. I sure would appreciate it. Thank you very much. Also, check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark Zerady where you'll find all the Amazon listed products that I review in this channel organized and categorized so you can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.